So I got five items going out this morning. First one is just gonna be a Under Armour Heat Gear Spider-Man collab t-shirt. And I'm just putting it into a suffocation bag like I do with all my stuff. And then just into a 12 by nine vinyl mailer. And if you sell clothing, these 12 by nine vinyl bags are ideal to have. You gotta have these. So I'm on the scale, comes in exactly seven ounces. Second item going out, it's another Under Armour Heat Gear Wounded Warrior Project t-shirt. And for this, I'll also put it into a suffocation bag and then into another mailer. This one on the scale, 7.8. So you round up, make it eight ounces. And if you've been watching all my vlogs, you'll remember and you see also in my What Souls, I've been having the perfume samples. And you remember this one? I called it Crotch Cologne. Well, someone bought it. And for these samples, I just put it into these little bubble bags it's for a little bit extra protection and then into a six by nine bubble mailer, 0.9. Next item I got going out, it is just a hot water heater control panel. I had no idea what it was when I saw it. Paid a buck for it, for like $42. So I have to remove that $1 mark off of this, but this is plastic, so that should be easy. I just take a towel, put a little rubbing alcohol on it. Go on. Wrapped in a one sheet of bubble wrap. I'm gonna put it inside this piece of cardboard, perfect. And I'll put it inside here. I put it in sideways so I can fold it over like that. Just roll it up, put a piece of tape on each end. You got a nice package. 6.2, so you round up, seven ounce, first class. And the fifth item is these two nunchucks for the Wii. I'm gonna wrap them in some bubble wrap. Try to keep it flat so they get it in the envelope. I'll put this sideways in there be able to fold it over. These are great. These are probably what I use my quarterly coupon for eBay on the most. They're like 14 by 10, something like that. Padded envelopes, these are great to have. 6.8, seven ounces, that's the same exact. If you don't mark them correctly, I will not know what is what. So I will also mark it seven in his right Wii. All right, got them all labeled up. Now this pile doesn't seem like anything. It was all such minor things. Does it make for a sexy Instagram picture with a huge pile going out. But $93.35 total sales. All but one were free shipping because that's what all the comps were giving. So I went along, charged shipping on one. So it cost me an extra $12.97 into the shipping after fees and everything. And then my buy cost, I netted $65 on these five things. Do that every day and you make $2,000 profit a month. Easy. The buy cost $2.50. Perfume free. One t-shirt was a dollar at a local thrift. Other t-shirt was 50 cents at the bins, went by weight. The hot water heater keypad, one dollar. And the Wii remotes free because I bought a pack of seven or eight remotes that cost seven dollars at the bins. First one sold off, covered everything. The rest is all profit. Easy money. Now this is done, let's hit the bins. <laughs> having the bins two miles from your house what's up guys how we doing friday morning 8 30 just pulled up to the bins so we're gonna hit it hard and hopefully find some good stuff all right let's go see what kind of antics are going on in this madhouse today so there's been a lot of pants taken out today i found like four or five pairs does anybody know about el rapido food yeah me neither here's a sony dual cassette deck here's an awesome find some bushnell Range Master binoculars. They're dirty, but I can clean them up. The important thing is they work and comps are between one and two hundred dollars. I'm doing awesome. And last night on a lot of Josh's channel, when he was talking to Dalton, the Florida flipper, uh, this guy Pat Denucci was on there and you know we everybody was like, Oh, we're in Florida, blah blah blah. So he came down here and he met me. We've been hanging out. Awesome guy. I'm gonna put a link to his channel at the end screen of this video and in the description box he's down there right now i'll put on my camera in a minute but if you're watching this please go subscribe to his channel he just started great guy now let's hook him up with some subscribers and some view time all right i'm just leaving got a good haul got my boy pat here 
going on, everybody? Pat Dinucci, I told you I'm going to put a link to his channel in the end. Please go subscribe, check out his videos. Good guy. Found some good stuff today. He's got the hole right there. This is my favorite, though. Looney Tunes overalls. Check out these overalls he's got. Twiggy Bird. Really cool. I only spent 12 bucks, too. Orange theory pants. Workout pants and books. Should do all right. Good clothing haul. Yeah, great. All right, that was cool. Pat's a good guy. I'm glad I met him. Pat, if you're watching this, thanks for coming down. It was nice to meet you, brother. Anyway, we got some good stuff. This could possibly be the best haul I've gotten out of here between that tape deck and the binoculars. I mean, potentially I could have two, $300 profit. So once I get home, I'll comp them a lot better and I'll show you things at the end. And now we're off to the next place. Take the elevator upstairs, yellow tags, $1. Big, huge place. All right, just pulled up to the next spot. They're doing all month long, $1 clothing and 50% off the entire store. As soon as I came in, comps of about $40. These could be interesting. Hopefully they have good comps. Brand new, be $2.50 each. There's one, two, three, there's five of them. Let me comp it. I always come and check this jacket aisle. It's just a half an aisle. But they always have some good stuff here. They have stacked their denim aisle, packed, finding so many good pairs. Look, I'm piled up to my chin. All right, I got a huge bag of stuff, all kinds of goodies. They were doing a dollar all clothing sale, and I know I've said it in my videos before. Be careful with those because in your mentality, like, oh, it's only a dollar, only it's only a dollar, only it's only a dollar. You keep grabbing things, and before you know it, you got a stack. And yeah, you might spend 15, 20 bucks, but you could end up with a pile that doesn't sell and stale inventory if you're not careful. So I'm gonna head home. I'm just at the post office, I had to drop something off and we'll go through everything. All right guys, it's actually the next day. Once again, once I got home, put everything in, I was just done and I didn't feel like filming the haul. So it's the next morning. I'm gonna go through everything right now. So let's go through everything. I'm gonna start with what I found at the bins. All right, so I got a handful of items. First one, is this this Mueller? It's a hinged knee brace. This probably cost a dollar, and I've sold these recently, and I usually get about 12 bucks for these. Not big money, but it'll definitely sell. Pick up this leather women's, like a purse wallet. But Scully is like a Western wear. You'll see it like on Western cowboy shirts. Again, maybe this cost a dollar by weight. Worst case, I get 10 bucks. Best case, you know, maybe 20 or 30. I saw some that were even more than that. Next up, I got these pair of women's pants. They're called Legging, and the brand is White House Black Market. And they're just, they're called a riding pant. They have like a, almost like a suede inside the inner thighs of the leg. These will probably go for about 20 bucks. All right, picked up another pair of jeans. They got like embellished on their rear pockets. The brand is NYDJ. Here's the tag, NYDJ. And it stands for Not Your Daughter's Jeans. And these are the Billy Mini Boot Cup. And these have comps of about $20 as well. And the last clothing item, a pair of Carhartt. These are like these heavy, almost like a, they're cotton, but they feel like canvas. You know, these are heavy, so these probably cost me like three, a little over $3. I look like they're going for about 25 bucks. All right, here's an awesome find. A pair of binoculars. They got the lens cover. The brand, Bushnell Rangemaster. These are vintage. They were a little dirty. I cleaned them up pretty good. And these have incredible comps. Look them up, Bushnell Rangemaster binoculars. From anywhere from like 120 to almost $200 these are selling for. She charged me $5 for these and I'm hoping to get at least 100 minimum. Now I showed this in a video. Sony, it's a double cassette deck. The model is TC WE 805S. I was hoping it would work. I brought it up to the cash register and the manager was there and the employees will not test things for you, but the manager's like, no, that's not our policy to plug it in. I was like, come on, man, plug it in. I'm not going to buy it if it doesn't work. So he did it, and it worked. Only two listed and one sold. And that sold was $3.50. So hopefully I get some serious money out of this, and I paid $6 for it. All right, so at the second stop, I got a couple things. Number one, and this place is good for a lot of vintage clothing. I got this vintage tag, Champion, made in USA. And it just says Princeton University. Plus $2, but probably could get like $15 even maybe 20 since it's vintage. Picked up this shirt, it's like a corduroy. The brand is Johnny O, new with tags. And I looked and these are selling for about 40 bucks. 
That was $3. All their shirts were $3 except for the t-shirt. I got this Notre Dame Under Armour quarter zip. Real nice. Found this Sony Walkman AM FM. Not, a, not the more expensive one. This costs a dollar and they go for about 20 bucks. And the last thing I found, I put it on my Instagram. So if anybody saw anything, Polo Ralph Lauren. And it's a, you there? Red, white, and green. Kind of like a nylon. It's like a heavy windbreaker material. It's zip and button up. Really interesting. I never saw anything like this. Has polo embroidered on the, on the cuff. Here's the tag, Polo Ralph Lauren, it's a blue tag. I. Don't know. I tried looking online, see if I found that jacket and pictures of it, and I'm not seeing anything. So if anybody has seen this before and knows anything, I don't know how old it is, but it was three dollars, and maybe I could get 30, 40 bucks. Who knows? I mean, it, it could be rare, and it could be a lot more. I'll have to do more, you know, searching. All right, and at the third stop, which is my favorite local, I love that place. So I went in and found this box of Brother Ink. It's the whole set, the black and the three colors, marked four dollars. They were doing 50% off the whole store and dollar all clothing. And they got me on this. They caught me slipping. This box was closed and it was taped. I didn't even notice. It was such perfectly open and resealed that I thought it was brand new and it's missing the yellow. But it'll still sell. Now right next to that, when the little electronics rack, this is a great brand Bose. These are brand new sealed. As you see, they're like speaker mounts. And there was five of them. Marked five dollars, so half off two fifty. So for twelve dollars and fifty cents, I got five of these, and they sell for about twenty dollars each. Dansko, good selling brand. Typically, you'll see the clogs. These are the same thing, but they're the open straps. So these are two dollars and fifty cents, typically five, and um, probably go for in the twenties. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren, and it's a teddy bear sweatshirt. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me post it. Polo Sport and these teddy bear sweatshirts go for some serious money. Brand new ones go for like 80 bucks, $90. They, come, they have different versions with different style bears on them, but I'm hoping to get like 40, 50, you know, somewhere in there. And then right next to that, found this pretty sweet vintage Adidas jacket. The orange spell out on the front and then the back, same thing with the, with the off center tree foil. This is Adidas silver label. And this is from the 90s. And this was a dollar and, you know, I don't know what it's gonna go for. All right, so after that, I always go to the pants aisle. And when they do the dollar clothing sale, you can't beat picking up some good denim for a dollar. Patagonia, these are just like a nylon hiking pant. Maybe 15 bucks, I don't know, 20 maybe. I got this pair of Dickies. Overalls, these things look brand new. Dark blue wash. Overalls go for about 25 bucks. Grab this pair of Levi. Now this is something to look for. Silver tabs. They don't make these anymore. And these are the baggy silver tabs. And these go for about $30, $35. Pair of Wranglers, which are pretty popular nowadays. These are the 937 straight. Pair of black rag and bone. Here's the label that you'll see on the back. Another pair of rag and bone and like an olive. And on these rag and bone jeans, these are button fly, standard issue. Fit 2 Slim Lake size 30 on the gray ones and the black ones. And the sole comps are upwards in the 40s and 50s. Look them up, rag and bone. Then I got this pair of Levi's 505, new with tag. Again, all these were a dollar each. So that's why I love going when they had that dollar sale. Because I could sell these probably for 35 bucks easily. So that's great profit on one pair of pants. And each one of these goes into a padded flat rate envelope. So charge sevens, eight dollars shipping and you're good to go. I spent about $56 in the three stores, and I'm estimating gross sales on all this stuff to be about $1,100.
Now, of course, the two big ticket items, that double cassette deck, which the one sold comp of $350, and there's only two listed in the 500s. And then the binoculars, which you know are gonna go for at least 100. So those two items right there are major home runs. Hopefully they sell, I'm gonna get those up first. So that's not bad. If I could do $1,100 and it grows, you know, sure there'll be some free shipping and so forth on here. You know, I could probably make seven, 800 bucks. That's awesome day. So I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, put them down below. Until the next video, I'll see you later.